Hi everyone. Today we are going to talk about UPC defense strategies. Tillman, the UPC is going to open its doors soon. In my mind, this card is a real game changer since the leverage of a UPC injunction is simply huge. It's time to start developing efficient defense strategies. What measures would you consider already at this stage? The UPC makes risk management a top priority. For example, protective letters should be considered to avoid ex parte preliminary injunctions at the UPC. The recent case law of the Court of Justice of the European Union suggests a rather generous approach for PI matters, which should also apply at the UPC given that the UPC has to follow EU case law. I also expect that the UPC will entertain a rather generous approach regarding the urgency requirement, at least as compared with the German practice. Avoiding an ex parte PI and bringing important defense arguments early on to the court's attention is certainly a must. Additionally, there are means of defense that would prevent the patentee from bringing its infringement action with the UPC. However, these means are only available if the EP patent in question was opted out. Right. Article 83, paragraph 4 of the UPC agreement provides for what I call an opt-out torpedo, locking in the patentee by bringing a national action at a national court, thus opting out the entire patent portfolio from the jurisdiction of the UPC and tells the risk that the value of the portfolio decreases. That means that enforcing the EP patent at the UPC may be excluded forever. Thus, a selective strategic opt-out should be considered in my mind. Yes, the opt-out torpedo is certainly a conceivable scenario. And I would choose a venue that allows for strawman actions, requires little court fees, and entails a small cost reimbursement exposure. In my mind, then the opt-out torpedo is very similar to the classical declaratory judgment DJ torpedo action. Indeed, a classic DJ torpedo action is possible at the UPC, since the UPC is considered to be a common court to the member states and therefore is treated like a national court of a member state. But let's face it. A classic DJ torpedo action is a rare animal in the zoo. Many clients would like to know whether one could block a UPC infringement action by filing a prior national nullity action. Do you think that's a viable option? Unfortunately, that won't do the trick. But the UPC is likely to consider the outcome or the reasoning of a national invalidity action when deciding on a counterclaim for revocation or a standalone revocation action. So early proactive revocation actions are an important tool in the defensive box. Another means of defense could be filing a declaratory judgment action for non-infringement at the central division of the UPC. However, such a DJ action entails the risk that it provokes the patentee into filing an infringement action at a local division of their choice. If such an infringement action is filed within the three months time window after the DJ action was filed, then it takes precedence over the DJ action for non-infringement. Thus, the DJ action will not bring you into the driver's seat in a pending dispute. But what about revocation actions? Would you rely on filing a counterclaim for revocation at the local division where the infringement action is pending? Or would you prefer filing a standalone revocation action with the central division of the UPC? Filing a counterclaim for revocation is certainly a must to have a say in the infringement case. However, one should not solely rely on that. It may be smart to have someone else, like a straw man, file a standalone revocation action to make use of potential division competition. However, the flip side is an increased cost risk. Absolutely, since a loser pays system applies for the recoverable attorney fees. And 
These are based on the value of the action, which can be significant for revocation actions. For that reason, one should also consider EPO oppositions, because the administrative fees there are minimal, and cost reimbursement for attorney's fees is just a theoretic option. If I were to summarize the defensive situation, I would say it's more complex than ever. However, making this complexity your friend, this is the mission for every defense team. I fully agree, Tobias. It is so important to get your ducks lined up right now. A wait and see approach is simply no option. Thank you very much. If you're interested in our UPC topics, please have a look at our dedicated UPC website.